Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to today's episode. I've been wanting to do some biscuit recipes and uh, some biscuit uh, reviews here for a long time. I just haven't had the time, and today is the day we start this. Uh, we'll probably do like a uh, three or four part series here on all these, but um, today we're going to start off with some packaged biscuits. And then I'm going to make you at the end of this series my own homemade version. I'll show you how awesome those are. But uh, to get started, I want to show you all some packaged stuff and uh, some of the things I can do to the packaged stuff to make them a better product, even though it's a prepackaged item. So I hope you'll uh, enjoy this series. It's probably be, like I said, a three or four parter. And we're going to start off today making some packaged biscuits. Join me. Ciao, y'all. All right, folks, so the first one I bought here is the Morrison's Biscuit Prepare Biscuit Mix. And um, this one here is just adding uh, half a cup of milk, and that's it. Um, I'm going to tell you why I don't like that. That mix is uh, instructions here because uh, to me, you got to have something to create the height and the steam whether it's lard whether it's butter whether it's shortening and uh, that's going to be a really dense biscuit if you make it the way it says on the package I can guarantee you it's not going to look like that next up here is the Pioneer and uh, this one's got a little bit of uh, better instructions I believe this is one package of the, uh, the Pioneer with a half cup of milk and two tablespoons of butter melted now for me I like putting the butter in cold and mini cubes here. I got two tablespoons here. So I think today we're gonna start off with this here Pioneer one. And instead of doing the melted butter, we're gonna put in the butter cold, knead it into the dough. And uh, what that'll do is that'll create that steam from the butter to create the height we're looking for in a good biscuit recipe. All right, folks, I'm a uh, product of the deep south born and raised in the south so of course i love my biscuits and it don't matter where you're from biscuits are awesome and if you're from up north somewhere or from one of the coast and you come to uh you know texas or georgia or mississippi whatever you're gonna find some fantastic biscuits i guarantee and uh even though you don't make them from scratch sometimes you can still do some stuff in there to help make them taste like they're scratch or homemade and get that nice airy fluffiness now as we work through this series i will be doing some biscuits from scratch but for now we're going to do these packages and work our way towards the scratch biscuits and uh, i was taught by my great grandmother how to make biscuits when i was very young before she passed away and um her biscuits are very simple. You need a good flour, like a white lily or something like that. What you want is a flour that is not uh, high in gluten and not uh, high in protein. It'll make it less dense, more airy, more fluffy. Uh, you need some uh, uh, baking powder, salt, flour, butter, buttermilk. It's very simple to make a good biscuit. Um, thing with those, those uh, flowers like I was talking about is one, one a couple of things when you're making scratch biscuits which we will get into big time when we do that part of the series this mini series um, don't overwork your dough uh, I like to have butter in mine some people use Crisco some people use lard uh, and uh, and a good flour that's the key to any good biscuit and there's some techniques you use which my grandmother taught me to get that perfect split in the middle uh, and it makes a really fantastic biscuit so Let's get started on these package ones first, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe below, and we will do a whole series on biscuits. Let's get started. All right, folks, in today's episode, we will be doing the Pioneer Buttermilk Bacon Mix Biscuits. On the uh, prescription here on the back of the package, it says uh, one package of Pioneer Buttermilk Bacon Mix one half cup of milk and two tablespoons of butter melted. We are not gonna melt the butter, we're actually gonna fold it in there. It has cold cubes that will help get that puffiness you need. 
from using a packaged biscuit, and even my normal biscuits, I always use a, a cold cube butter in the mix. We're also gonna do some gravy with these. I got these three Pioneer brands, our varieties here. There's a country gravy mix, there's a country gravy mix with sausage, and there's a pepper gravy mix. So we'll be featuring one of those, along with this here, buttermilk biscuit Pioneer mix. All right, so in the bowl, the mixing bowl we go with this package of Pioneer mix. What I like to do is put a little pocket right here in the middle. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, we're gonna add in our, uh, our milk right there. That way I can start mixing into the mix like so. All right, so now that we got this mixed with our hand, we're gonna pull in any stuff. We've got a rubber spatula here. Like I said, I don't, do not wanna overwork this dough. And I'm gonna add in some of this butter. These cold cubes here. Like so. Well, the package don't make, they ain't gonna make a lot of mix. I don't know what there. But we should be able to get at least two or three good biscuits out of it. All right, you see that? Now all your butter's mixed into your dough, like so. We'll go on to the next step. All right, so next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a little flour down here on our table, like so. That way we got something to keep from sticking to the countertops. And the package says this makes eight to ten biscuits. Uh, the, the biscuit size they must be talking about is like half dollar size. We're getting eight or ten because you're really going to get about two or three out of here. A normal size biscuit. Alright, so. At this point, we're going to try to get some flour on the top and the bottom. We're going to start pressing it out. You don't even need a rolling pin for this. This dough is very light and airy. And I'm going to push it all the way out. Then what we're gonna do is fold it back on top of itself. And as I'm doing this, you see I'm starting to stick to my hand, the flour's working in there. That's gonna be where our split is here. When we're talking about having a nice, beautiful split. That's where you're gonna get it from. Once you do the fold over. Okay, so now we're gonna do the fold over here. There we go. And like I said, we're gonna get two cut biscuits out of this. And the third one, we're gonna have to press all the stuff back together. All right, let's see if we can get two biscuits out of here. Almost, we're gonna have to push this one out just a hair more, a little flatter. So the package says eight biscuits, you ain't getting eight biscuits out of there. I'll tell you that, as you can see, that is not true. Okay, so all this dough here, we're gonna take back, fold it back into itself here. It's gonna be a little tricky because some of this got flour on it now, so you just kinda try to make a ball back out of it so it doesn't have that split any longer. Okay, there we go. Put a flower back down here. We're basically gonna just form a biscuit like so. Instead of cutting it, that'll be one that's just by itself like that. And actually, that'll make a good biscuit like that. But you get three biscuits out of the uh, package. So we just got a standard baking sheet here. Piece of sheet. You can use cast iron, you can use whatever you like. But this is just to show y'all the product basically. So if we're making a whole mess of them, we can use a big old cast iron skillet. All right, let's throw these on here. And uh, I'm using a little bit of a uh, pan here. So what I'm thinking, since that made such an underwhelming amount of biscuits, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the Morrison here. We'll just compare the two. 
right here on this first video of biscuit allergy here. Basically the same exact thing. I remember on this package it did not say they had any butter or anything, just the milk. So we're gonna add the milk. And I'm also gonna add the butter. Sit that here for you. I'll tell you what I'll do for this one for you folks. I'll try to do this one all with just a spatula in case you guys are afraid of getting your hands dirty. But, uh, man, this is a great thing for your kids to do, or grandkids or whatever, because getting your hands dirty cooking is uh, a fun part of growing up. Especially making, like, biscuits and waffles and, you know, breakfast stuff. I always said the best times in life is sitting around that breakfast table. So, I added the uh, exactly the same amount. I can tell this dough here seems to be a little drier than the last dough. Not a lot, but a little bit drier. So I'm thinking this is more of a, a coarser flour, or maybe a little more gluten in the flour. But as you can see, it's gonna make the exact same amount, about three biscuits. All right, let's add our butter in. This plate here was my great grandma. This plate, it's an atomic pattern. Cool stuff. All right, let's go ahead and mix that in there for you. And uh, we'll put these out on the table here and give them a cut. Put them in the oven next. We'll see if Morrison or Pioneer has a better packaged biscuit mix. And I will say, when you're working it, still using my hands, like I did on the last one, using this uh, rubber spatula, does work the gluten a little more, so it probably is going to be a little more dense regardless because of uh, the technique there, so keep that in mind. And I got some all-purpose flour here I'm just uh, dusting with to try to keep everything from sticking to the table here. Go pretty flat with this first one, and then we'll do the fold over. Try to make sure we can get two cuts here, so I'm kind of working it to where we can get that last to make us two cuts. Cut one. Cut two. Bring this dough back together. Kind of folding it underneath itself. Now it's going to stick you again. thing got that one down like we did the other one there we go folks put those in the oven next the other ones come out all right folks that's the pioneer biscuits that's the first three we did just pull them out of the oven put them on a plate here and then the morrison biscuits i'll put right here they're almost ready and we'll see what the difference looks like so we didn't get a lot of height like you would with a normal biscuit uh, if i made one from scratch it'd be a lot taller and all but here's what it is they smell delicious. We'll hope they taste good because I've never tried these brands before myself. So we're going to find out together. All right, folks, this is our store bought biscuits. This side over here is the Biscuit by Morrison. And this side over here on the left is the Pioneer brand buttermilk bacon mix. Uh, you can see these kind of expanded a lot more and uh, actually very fluffy. I want to take this one out of the pan and just implode it on me. So uh, yeah, there's that. So we got two instead of three out of that one. 
Man, now it's time for the moment of truth. What do these biscuits taste like? Which ones did you buy if you want some biscuits at your house? So as not to waste this biscuit here, this is the uh, Morrison Biscuit. Um, since it fell and broke, trying to get it on the plate. Let's go ahead and try it out and see what the biscuit itself tastes like. Cheers, everybody. The Morrison Biscuit. Not bad. Very light, very fluffy, very tasty. Okay. Next up here, we'll do this Pioneer. We see a nice split there. Let's take a piece of this one off. This one seems to be a little more dense than the uh, Morrison. As you can see. That's really got some give to it. This one is more dense, so. That's a very tasty biscuit as well. So, in my opinion, I like the uh, flavor of the Pioneer a little better. But I like the uh, airiness of the Morrison a little better. So, both are decent products. Mm -hmm. So, there are the two biscuits side by side here. This one's the Pioneer. Let's turn it this way. Pioneer, Morrison. So you can see a lot more air and all is inside the Morrison biscuits. So it's going to be a lot fluffier. This one's going to be a little more dense. As you can see, this one doesn't have much give. This one has a lot of give. So, next test here is the gravy test. So Morrison makes a great gravy. Unfortunately, they didn't have any at the store I was at. So uh, we're doing two different Pioneer gravies. What we'll do is we'll do a, a half on each biscuit brand. So if you've never been to the deep south of the United States, say you're uh, watching from another country, this is uh, southern, you won't find this all over the United States. So if you're going first time to the U.S. and you end up in New York City or L.A. or something, this will not be on your menu. Gotta come to the south. Okay, the second gravy we're gonna try here on half of each biscuit. So this one here is the country gravy. That's the one I just put on there. Pioneer Brown. Since 1851. The second gravy we're gonna try here is country gravy. The difference is this one is sausage flavored. So Get it on there. They look very similar. I think this one may be slightly darker, but very similar in color. Now we'll give it the taste test. So which one, which biscuit will hold up better as a biscuit and gravy? Okay, there's the uh, first one. Held up good, flavor's good. This will be the Pioneer one. I think the Pioneer wins out on the on the biscuit and gravy. It's got a little more crunch to it to hold the gravy up. All right, let's try the one that has the sausage flavor. You can 
can see, this is kind of crumbling on me. This is the uh, Morrison brand. Ooh, that is not very tasty gravy. Okay, so this gravy tastes like licorice. I'm not a fan. That's almost unedible. It tastes like licorice. Why would you make a gravy taste like licorice? It's weird. That's kind of gravy anyway. Yeah, we don't like that gravy at all. Mm. Very foul taste. So, if you're buying gravies, as a side note here, get the one that just says country gravy, not the one that says sausage flavor. Unless you like the flavor of licorice. Very strange combination. So, in my opinion, if you're going to have biscuits with like strawberry jam and butter, go with these here biscuits by Morrison Brand. If you're wanting biscuits and gravy, go with the uh, Pioneer. It's a little more dense, holds up a little better under the uh, weight of the gravy. And if you're going for gravy, for sure, do the country gravy. And go ahead and pass on this sausage gravy. It tastes like licorice. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe below. If you're new to the channel, stay tuned for more to come. See you, folks, next time.